I actually saw you because it's been a few years since yeah. you left LEX 18 and you're back doing extra stuff and especially uh, with Hey Kentucky. Yeah. And um, I've been gone almost five years. Five years. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm getting old because we started about three, we were talking about this about three weeks apart. Yeah. Because I started in August of '02, and, and I was July of '02. You'd been here, for so a few I was weeks. the start of hey, we're gonna really get this train rolling at <laughs> LEX 18. We're bringing in Mary Jo Perino. Uh huh. Next, and, we're and bringing in happened. Tom Ackerman. Yeah. The whole thing's gonna explode. And You've moved did. on, and I'm growing moss <laughs> on my backside. So. It's, uh, it's awesome to see you. Welcome, yeah, it's welcome good to in. see you. Thank you. Yes, it's always fun to it, what's, be here. What's going to be even better is both of us have absolutely, well, you know, minimal experience doing the show. So. Yeah, so it could be a, tra a real train wreck. <laughs> um, now, Haley is still working. She is in True Blue Nashville. We're going to have uh, more from her coming up in just a little bit. This is one of the times I'm glad I don't work here anymore and I don't have to go on these trips. Yes, because you would have been down there. Yes, it's awesome. Freezing. It's awesome to go, mm -hmm. but it is so much work. So I feel for her. I know how much she's working yeah. down there. She, uh, well, I mean, it's also home for her, so I don't think she's too, she she's too put yeah. out. If, yeah. if anybody that could have sent her, she was probably a yeah. good choice to head yeah. down to Nashville. So, cool. All right, so now we do Hot Topics. Is that right, Tom? Mm -hmm. Pause. Hot Topics. Yes, there we go. That's awesome. I always talk <laughs> over that. We didn't do it. No, we did We did good. Hey, police in Madison, Wisconsin arrested a hairstylist. He's accused of snipping a 22-year-old <laughs> customer's ear. The victim That's told officers the hairstylist told him to stop fidgeting and moving his head before nicking his ear last Friday. That looks like it just a That's totally bad haircut. That's the top of his cut. head, That's yeah. That's ear, is it? It's like he took the clippers and just ran it <laughs> down the middle of his head. Police say the stylist is accused of running the clippers down the well, middle of the customer's okay. head, quote, leaving him looking a bit like Larry from the Three Stooges. Officers arrested the stylist wow. on suspicion of mayhem and disorderly conduct suspicion while of. armed. So I guess a, a clippers is armed. Well, you, He's you armed you and cut, dangerous. You cut the guy, but, I mean, there's got to be more to the story than that. There's some kind of build up there. You don't just... You don't try to cut somebody's ear off and run the clippers down the no, middle of their no, head yeah. over something. a little bit of a disagreement. <laughs> no, some, some, something happened. Something wow. Something happened. But okay. he is going to be upset well, for the yeah. next I guess he's, six months. I he's going to have go, to take the rest of it off. He's going to Yeah, he's going to be bald and put on the sunscreen depending on where he lives. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, uh, it's called the happiest place on earth, but on Wednesday that happiness was cut short. Uh, for some, after the power went out at Disneyland, after about a dozen attractions went offline, many people were trapped on rides. One person who was on It's a Small World said it took 30 minutes to be removed from the ride after it stopped with the theme song playing. They sat in darkness. How's that for a That's what they right? do for uh, Canadian torture in prison. <laughs> Canada, <laughs> Play I that think. song. Yeah. It's over like Nickelback and over again. or that. Uh, I, I, can, I can believe it. You know, any song after repeated. Uh, Runs gets a little annoying, but uh, he said, well, yeah, he's going to have that song in his head for the next year. Christmas week notoriously busy for the popular theme park, attracting more crowds than usual since many kids are out of school for winter break. But um, I, have you been to the one in Anaheim? Uh, no, but I've been to the one, obviously, the one in yeah, Florida yeah. a bunch, and I would never go during a peak time. No, no, it's, uh, it's, Always it's crazy off down there. Yeah. I, I know uh, Lee was just uh, on vacation, and I don't, he's, he went down there, and... He got down there and it was, you know, frigid. They pictures yeah, I saw them. Pictures <laughs> of him in a puffy coat. So he he was angry, you know, justifiably. So you go to Florida, you don't want to have to put on your winter coat. Right. You have every right to be angry about that. But at least he wasn't trapped in it's a small world. <laughs> no, Lee is trapped in a small world. You've <laughs> well, seen Lee. That's he's, true. He's yeah. in his own small world. You're taking it to another level there. So <laughs> that's that's the absolute truth. So while the cold temperatures across much of the U.S. aren't for everyone, including people in Florida. They are a perk for northern Michigan winemakers. Winemakers at Chateau Chantal have been picking frozen grapes to make their seasonal ice wine. It is not a comfortable job. Yeah, who it draws is, the short straw to have to do that, right? <laughs> it is often done in temperatures below 15 degrees. It is one of the only wineries in the world that can make ice wine. Winemakers say ice wine grapes are naturally sweeter because... All of the grape water is frozen, causing them to have a higher concentration of sugar. I would imagine you have to have a couple of sips before you go out in that, right? Just well, to yeah, warm the soul a little bit. Yeah, you'd be needing to drink the ice wine while you're picking the grapes just to stay warm. But that's also interesting because you would think they would have to save out a portion of their harvest before you know it gets cold enough to do that. So they've just got to leave these grapes on the vine for a couple yeah. of months past when they'd be primed just to make sure they get naturally frozen. I've never heard of ice wine. I didn't I, even know such I a thing existed. Would but you, Would you try it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 
Send us what wine case. wouldn't I try? <laughs> well, hey, it might be worth a <laughs> shot. Uh, we've got one of a GoPro camera was lost in Oregon. These are always interesting because they always go missing and people find them. Uh, it's been reunited after a year with its owner, and the person who found it recorded some of their own adventures along the way. Oh, okay, so what are these deals? So the package postmarked from Florida arrived for 16-year-old Ethan Tolley. It was a GoPro full of video from Louis Ray. He shared his year-long adventures across the country from exploring the Florida Keys underwater to slacklining the mountaintops of West Virginia. The videos weren't on Ray's GoPro. It was Ethan's, which he lost in 2016, later found by Ray. I think we've explained that. And uh, he's been able to track him down uh, using Google Maps through the GoPro. So Poor Ethan has a GoPro, and all he appears to do is sit on his couch. Meanwhile, this <laughs> dude is out yeah. swimming with sharks. You wonder, you wonder if he's taking the uh, vacation videos and just editing the other guy out and saying, <laughs> check this out, man. Look what I was doing. Yeah, he had a much better life, it appears. More adventurous, at least. There's a really good one that I saw a couple of years ago. Uh, the guy was, I think it was skydiving, maybe, and he dropped it from the side of the plane, and you can... You can see it, you know, turning in the air and falling, and it lands in a, uh, uh, a hog farm. Oh. And the hogs are, up, you know, slopping around, chewing on it, and uh, the farmer actually went out and, or hog farmer, I guess, went out and found it and still worked, and they returned it to him, and, and the video is up online. So it's always fun to, fun to see those. And could be dangerous, I would think, Could sometimes. be dangerous. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that thing comes down and knocks you on the head. Yeah. That would make for some interesting videos. Well, a player for the NBA's Indiana Pacers received a gigantic surprise last night. During a timeout, Indiana's <laughs> Damian Wilkins found out that he and his fiance are expecting a baby boy. Wilkins' fiance, Jasmine, broke the news with the help of the Pacers' mascot, who I hope is not the father. The Pacers' bench then celebrated the moment with the dad-to-be. Mom says the little boy will probably be another basketball player. Kind of runs in the family there, I would imagine. You always hope for another basketball player. Oh, they make quite yeah. a bit of money and only have to work till they're like 35 if they're good. So That's true. And, you know, I was reading as well, you know, you get into all the issues with, uh, you know, the, the conflicts with football and the, the concussions and everything mm -hmm. else. But just the general health of uh, NBA players, when you consider it's just complete and total cardiovascular, all they're doing is running up and down the court. Those guys, they did like side-by-side side side comparisons talking about, uh, their, their, you know, overall great health and their uh, longer uh, lifespan and everything else. Well, so and you can basketball is a way to go. Yeah, you can see that because like you could run every day. You, mm -hmm. I think you do, don't you? Uh, well, you well, run I sometimes. Used to. I'm old and broken down. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't <laughs> at all. But there's running, and then there's uh -huh. being in basketball game shape, oh, and geez, it's two yeah. totally different things. No, I think one trip down the court right now would probably put me in the hospital. Yeah. So yeah, those guys are just. You would at least tear an ACL or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The very if least. If it's not the. Uh, being out of breath, it's uh, some <laughs> muscle is going to snap that you yeah. didn't even know was there. So, well, that was a look at today's hot topics. Hot topics. That's two in a row. Look at that. Pros. Beautiful. Pros. Up next, some of our favorite viewer videos from 2017, including that time <laughs> Haley turned into. I haven't seen this. Eddie Van Halen, when she took up the guitar. Yeah, 2017 was a wild year when it came to viral videos around the world. We'll take a look at those too. Stay with us.